All right, all right, you guys ready? Yeah. Like we were talking, we have 14 teams of interns that have actually spent the last three months helping to move the needle for Quicken Loans. And so now this is their opportunity to come to the stage and tell you a little bit about what's going on. So first up. First up is um, my team and I, Project Experience. <laughs> And the presenters for Project Experience are Shahab Alam, Steve Cahoon, Kevin Kargula, Larissa Marr, Angel Sai, and none other than Jordan Wolf. Thank you all for coming this morning. Um, you guys already know me. I'm Jordan Wolf. I'm the product manager and iOS developer for Focus by Project Experience. With me today is Larissa Marr. She's going to be talking about our team's story. And then we also have Steve Cahoon. He's our film producer. We have Angel Sai, who's going to be talking about our design. And then we also have Kevin Kargula and Shihab Alam, who were our back-end developers. So to kick things off and start sharing with you guys what we've been doing, I'm going to hand it over to Larissa who's going to tell us about our story. Yeah, so uh, every one of us brings a unique skill to the team. And um, without any of us, I mean, we would have, we didn't, oh, sorry. We wouldn't have been able to uh, build what we have. So our story begins um, at the start of my summer. I started May 1st. Uh, there weren't many interns, so I was just wanting to find a way to connect. And then I went to a Welcome to IT class, and I met Shehab and Kevin, and I overheard them talking about a really good idea about centralizing the intern experience um, and events into one app. So I asked them if I can join their team and started thinking of ways of how we can make this the one-stop shop for interns. Um, have like a registering and a social aspect to it. So um, after that, a couple weeks later, I met Jordan and he was talking about a very similar idea to ours. So I asked if he wanted to join our team and he said yes. And since then we've built this amazing team and we've made such great progress. Uh, so now Jordan's gonna talk about the opportunities we found and the goals we've committed to over the summer. Cool. Thanks, Larissa. So when our team started, we really we began thinking about ways we can improve the internship experience here at Quicken Loans. It's already awesome, but we're always looking to how we can improve here, right? And so we broke down the internship into three big categories. Events, what do we do here at Quicken Loans outside of our day-to-day -day job? And then we have resources, what do we need to be successful here at Quicken Loans? Information about our team members, the teams, other interns, stuff like that. And then social, how do we connect with the people in our community? Of course, in one summer, it's not quite possible for a team of six interns to get all three of these centralized into one location. So we decided to focus on events and what can we do to improve them. So we started by thinking about how we could improve the visibility and discoverability of events. We noticed that there are six sources, at least six sources, of information about events that come to interns. And we said, we need to start with a minimum viable product. So what if we start by centralizing all of these sources into one location? And that's what we've done with the Focus app. And so to give you a quick preview of it before Angel dives deeper, I'd like to play a video for you guys. There's more. Hi, everyone. So now I'm going to walk you through the screens that you just saw in that video. And these are all part of our app, which is live and working right now. Unfortunately, it's not on the App Store yet, but we'll keep you posted. On the left, you see the screen that comes up as soon as you launch the app. And it starts off with a compiled list of events from a whole bunch of events. Um, Every event starts off with a blue button asking the user if they're interested. If you are, you just tap on the button and then it turns green, indicating that you are. You can also see how many of your peers are interested by the number and the heart indicated right underneath. 
On the right, we see the ability to filter events by category. We included this because we believe that sorting through these events can be a huge challenge that we interns face. In addition, we also added the ability to, um, to search for events by name. If you click details, you can see a more logistical overview of each event, such as whether it's optional or required, the time, the location, as well as the explanatory blurb that current hosts already include in the emails you get. We also have an integrated map feature, which if you tap, it'll just open up the native map app in your phone. But that's not it. We also have ideas for the future, touching back on the opportunities that Jordan mentioned earlier. So as you can see, we hope to continue working closely with hosts of major intern events so that we can add the ability to register for events through the app by just clicking the accept or the decline button. You can also see that once events happen, they'll be grayed out. That's just an additional feature. We also have a bottom navigation bar, as you can see, with additional features, which is highlighted on this next screen. One of them is us integrating the social media aspect to help interns better um, connect. This is kind of like a news feed where you can directly like, comment, or DM, so direct message other interns, because we believe that building these connections is a vital part of our intern experience, and we want to be able to push that forward. Back to Jordan. <laughs> Thanks, Angel. So that's the focus app today and where we hope to go tomorrow. But of course, we couldn't have done this alone because this was a big undertaking. And so I'd like to take a second to thank Jordan Laframbois and Lanisha Gunn from uh, Future Labs and the Intern Experience team. When we brought this idea to them back in like the fourth week of the internship, they immediately supported us with everything that we've needed. And it really wouldn't have been possible without them. We have a few minutes left and we'd like to open it up to any questions that anybody in the audience might have about our app or our process or where we've been headed in the future. We have a mic runner too, so they'll get over to you in one second. I see it's AJ. Hi, AJ. Hey, Jordan. Shout out PMO. All right, uh, quick question. So getting all these different sources of events into one app, how do you guys foresee someone putting information into that and how is that maintainable so that they're not putting it in multiple sources? Yep, so this is something that we talked about with intern experience team as well as TechU and some more specific teams as well. And what we've actually done is we've already created a backend web portal that has the ability to create, update, view, delete events where it then exposes all these events information through an API right now. Um, and so we talked to them about whether they thought, thought that having it in that location too, in addition to say Outlook was worth it, and they thought that it immensely was. Um, so they're already on board with that, and we're gonna keep going down that route for the future. There was one over here. Oh, you got one over there. Is still one over here? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do we have a hand up somewhere? No? Question, question went away. We have one up here in front. <laughs> I'm actually running. <laughs> this might be a loaded question. This is my mentor. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys uh, continue to keep this thing alive after you guys leave? Yep, that's a great question. So obviously, we are all done on Friday, with the exception of Steve. And, and so we've put together a transition plan. So on Thursday, we actually have a meeting with Future Labs and the Intern Experience team to formally transition this project to, to their ownership. And going forward, um, the hopes is that this project will actually recruit interns into Quicken Loans to directly work on this full time so that they can take the work that we've done this summer and really exponentially grow it into something that can be used daily by every single intern here. One last question. And they're gonna meet somewhere in the middle, apparently. <laughs> hey Jordan, just Worley with PMO. Um, so what made you guys decide on iOS as your platform of choice? Yeah, that's a great question. So the first thing we noticed is that the majority of interns here have iPhones. And um, we don't have a hard number on that, but based on all the interns I work on in the 10th floor, I think only about one or two don't have an iPhone. So that was the initial uh, reason why. And that's also where our expertise lies to really allow us to get something <laughs> delivered this summer. Um, going forward, we're definitely going to add in Android support because we want to be inclusive of all the interns here at Quicken Loans. 
Thank you. Thank you all for your time. Thank really you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Project Experience. All right. Next up to the stage.